today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing this slip streamer windshield from Show Chrome onto a 2023 Honda Goldwing Tour. Now this windshield will fit any 2018 or later Honda Goldwing or Goldwing Tour. This video is sponsored by Cruise Man's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. Now, I've invited Robert White over today, who's a fellow YouTuber and a Goldwing owner with his 2023 Goldwing, because he has a factory OEM stock windshield. And I wanted to be able to show you the difference in the height and width of this slip streamer windshield as compared to the factory windshield that comes on your Goldwing Tour. So before we installed the Slipstreamer windshield, I wanted to get some uh, photo and video of Robert sitting on his motorcycle with the factory stock windshield. And here you can see with the windshield in its lowest position, Robert can easily see over the top of the windshield. Now Robert is five foot nine inches tall. With the windshield in the uppermost position, fully extended, Robert does have to look through the top of the windshield to see out the front of the bike. Now, by comparison, I'm about six foot two with a 33 inch inseam, and you can see that I can easily see over the windshield when it's in its lowest position, and I can still see over the factory windshield even when it's in its uppermost position. So let's take a look at this slip streamer when I'm holding it up right in front of the factory windshield. You can see when I line up the bolt holes on the mounting brackets, the windshield is not only taller, extends up above the factory windshield, but it also is a little bit longer at the bottom. And the windshield is probably four to five inches wider than the factory windshield, and that's going to give you more wind protection on the upper arm area. So now let's remove the factory windshield and install the slip streamer. Swapping out the windshield on a Goldwing is very easy. Basically, you extend the windshield to its highest position. You remove the two little push pin rivets on the back of the trim piece, and then you can slide the trim piece down and remove them from the front. And that will reveal four five millimeter socket bolts that you can then remove. And once you do, the windshield comes right off. It's a very, very simple process. Now, later, we will remove this slip streamer, and I will install it on my motorcycle so I can give it a thorough road test. So with the slip streamer in the lowest position, Robert, at 5'9", is really seen right at the upper edge of the windshield. He's basically having to look right at that top edge, and that can be sort of distracting for most riders. Most riders want to either be looking over the windshield or they want to be looking through the windshield, and different riders have different preferences. Now, with the windshield in the fully upper position, you can see that Robert is clearly looking through the windshield. It is uh, way over his head. Actually, it's over the top of his head. Now, by comparison, I'm six foot two again, and I can easily see over the windshield when it's in its lowest position. However, when the windshield is raised to its highest position, I'm definitely looking through the windshield. I would say two to three inches below the top edge of the windshield. You can also notice from this view how much wider the windshield is, and you can see that it could be blocking some of that wind that would be hitting my upper arms and shoulders. So I want to thank Robert for letting me use his Goldwing as a test example of how this windshield compares to the factory OEM windshield. And I'm going to reinstall his OEM windshield because he prefers it. He finds this windshield a little too tall for him. He prefers to look over the windshield rather than through it. And I'm going to install this on my 2018 Goldwing, and we're going to take it for a test ride. 
Well, good morning, everybody. Cruise man here. Just about to leave a wake. You can see uh, Robert joined us this morning. He's riding off on his 2023 Goldwing. And it's a absolutely beautiful Sunday morning. About 8 o'clock. 8.15, actually. I have a different windshield on the bike that I'm testing out. I guess you could say I'm reviewing. Kind of a mini-review. Hope she makes that turn. This new windshield is a, what they call a slip streamer. It's from Show Chrome, our friends over at Show Chrome. It is a very, very tall windshield. This is what the windshield looks like in the fully down position. I uh, can easily see over the top of the windshield when it's all the way down. Uh, but if I raise it all the way up to the full extent, I am definitely looking through the windshield now. I cannot see over the windshield, but I'm telling you what, it's dead quiet. <laughs> I can't hear any wind, obviously. So it's a, it's a very tall windshield. I'd say it's, uh, I'll give the measurements on the screen, but it's probably four or five inches taller than the Honda OEM windscreen. And it's also quite a bit wider. I'm not getting very much wind at all on my shoulders right now. And I would say that my uh, line of sight is probably, uh, it's hard to tell with the GoPro because the GoPro is down at chin level. But I'm saying probably two to three inches below the top edge of the windscreen. I usually like to ride where I can see over the windscreen. And it, it does provide good uh, wind protection. I normally put on a taller windscreen. I normally ride with an F4 Customs 20 inch. Some of you have seen it has the recurve at the top. That's kind of my go-to windshield. And then in the winter time, when it starts getting colder weather, I will sometimes put on the, the tall, F4 Customs Tall, which I also have, and it's, I think, four inches taller. It's like a 24 inch. And it's also a little wider, but I don't believe it's as wide as this windshield. This windshield, I believe, is wider than the F4 Customs. It really comes out on the edges and that gives you a little more wind protection on your arms. So I would say I'm going to ride with this for a while. I'll probably do a longer term review. And I'll ride with it for a while since we're coming into winter time. I also like the way it's finished. It's got a very nice smooth finish on the edge. Uh, the optics are good. It's very clear. I'm not getting any distortion around the edges of the windshield or the top edge. I'll always get people that will say, how does it affect your gas mileage having that bigger windscreen? And honestly, I've never noticed a difference. I've, I've never been able to tell a difference in gas mileage from one windscreen to another. Uh, put in the comments down below, what windshield do you use on your Goldwing, which one, or your motorcycle? Forget the Goldwing, any bike. What is your go-to windshield? What do you like? But this uh, slip streamer from Show Chrome uh, is a pretty nice windshield. I did ride with this windshield when I was up in Wisconsin. They had it on their uh, bike that they let me use at Show Chrome. So I, I have ridden with this windshield before, and I actually rode with it pretty extensively uh, on the highways up there. And uh, I, I remember thinking at the time what a good job it did of blocking the wind. Is this slipstreamer windshield on the left side does come in contact with that little plastic wing that Honda has on the uh, right behind the windshield. It doesn't do it on the right side as much. And so I'm, and my F4 Customs done, does the same thing. It, it does come in contact uh, with that little plastic wing. Now the F4 Customs is not as wide as this slip streamer. 
this slip streamer actually goes out beyond those wings. With this particular windshield, I'm not even sure if you need those plastic wings. So who is the slip streamer a good fit for? Well, first, definitely taller riders over six feet tall that don't get enough wind protection from the OEM windshield should consider the slip streamer. Second, any rider, regardless of height, who prefers to look through the windshield rather than over the windshield may appreciate that additional wind protection that the slip streamer provides. And third, those who want additional wind protection for their passenger will find this a good option. If you've been considering the tall windshield from Honda, I personally think the slip streamer could be a better choice. It offers great optics, it's taller and wider than the Honda tall windshield, and it's very competitively priced. You can order the slip streamer from any Honda dealer that sells show chrome accessories or from your favorite online reseller. Now I'm going to continue to ride with this slip streamer windshield for a while and I will offer a longer term review in the future. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and remember to ride often, but ride safe.